<laughs> Nubian culture in ancient Amara West. The architecture and many of the objects preserved at Amara West are similar to what is found at ancient towns in Egypt. But careful study and analysis reveals the town may have been less Egyptian than it seems. One of the most surprising discoveries was a small oval structure built next to one of the large houses outside the town wall. We don't know whether this was a house, a food production area, or a small building used for a ritual, or maybe even a celebration. This type of architecture is not found in Egypt. Rather, it's more similar to what we find at Kerman and elsewhere in Nubia. Someone at ancient Amara West had constructed a building that was distinctly Nubian. The study of ancient pottery vessels provides the best evidence for a Nubian presence or influence in the town. Up to 10% of the pottery consists of distinctive handmade Nubian cooking pots. Were Nubians living in the town? Or were Egyptians choosing to use locally made cooking pots? Other evidence for Nubian culture are the depictions of wild animals on pottery, certain personal accessories, and certain shapes of female fertility figurines. In the cemeteries, there is even more evidence for Nubian culture. One very large tomb featured five burial chambers underground, with the burials accompanied by Egyptian-style objects. But the tomb was marked on the surface by a low mound or tumulus, a type of tomb monument which would have seemed very Nubian. After 1070 BC, when Egypt no longer controlled Nubia, these mounds became more common in the cemetery, and other aspects of Nubian culture are reintroduced into rituals for the dead, such as funerary beds, or angarib, and crouch burials. Amara West was a community of people, some Egyptian, some Nubian, who probably associated themselves at different times with different aspects of each culture. Thank you.